hello class 8 students welcome everyone so in this video we are going to provide you some of the short and long answer type questions from the chapter synthetic fibers and plastics okay so if you have written uh, these uh, question answers already then no need to write it again but if you have not written then please write down in your science notebook okay so let's begin from question number one see what is a polymer name the natural polymer of which cotton is made polymer polymer is a synthetic fiber uh, and is a and it is a chain of small units joined together okay polymer is what it is a synthetic fiber and is a chain of small units joined together that small units each small units are referred to as what monomers okay each small units are referred to as monomers okay which are joined together to form a larger unit okay a large single unit and that large single unit is a polymer okay so each small unit is a chemical substance and many such small units combine to form a large single unit which is called as a polymer okay and the natural polymer of which cotton is made is what cellulose clear next rayon what is rayon rayon is a man made fiber prepared from a natural raw material from cellulose by chemical treatment okay give any two uses of rayon rayon is mixed with cotton to make bed sheets and rayon is mixed with wool to make carpets okay so next question what are synthetic fibers a synthetic fiber is a polymer made from the molecules of a monomer joined together to form very long chains clear simple answer okay next question what is nylon state the important properties of nylon nylon is the first fully synthetic fiber made by man without using any natural raw materials okay neither neither the raw materials are obtained from plants neither the raw materials are obtained from animals and it was made in the year 1932 and it was prepared from coal water and air okay what are the properties of nylon nylon fiber is a strong elastic and light and it is lustrous and easy to wash okay next question give the important uses of nylon nylon is used for making socks ropes tents toothbrushes car seat belts sleeping bags curtains etc and nylon is also used for making parachutes and ropes for rock climbing clear next what is polyester name a popular polyester polyester is a synthetic fiber in which the polymer units are linked by ester group okay it is linked by what ester group that means many units of ester joined together as a whole to form polyester okay so a very popular polyester is what terylene clear next question question number 8 state one important property of acrylic acrylic resembles to feel like wool this is the most important property of acrylic next write the uses of acrylic fibers acrylic fibers are used for making sweaters shawls and blankets okay next question question number 10 why should we not wear clothes made of synthetic fibers while while working in the kitchen why because synthetic fibers will melt on heating okay we should not wear clothes made of synthetic fibers while working in the kitchen because synthetic fibers melt on heating so if the clothes made of synthetic fibers catch fire then it can be disastrous how the fabric will, the fabric will melt and it will stick to the body of the person who is wearing it and it can cause severe burns okay next question question number 11 state the characteristics of synthetic fibers synthetic fibers are strong dry up they dry up quickly they are durable they are less expensive they wrinkle they are wrinkle resistant then they do not shrink they are lightweight they are ready uh, readily available in the market and they are easy to maintain so these are some of the characteristics of synthetic fibers okay next question number 12 explain why the disposal of plastic wastes is a major problem give reasons okay why the disposal of plastic wastes is a major problem it is a major problem because see plastic wastes are what plastics are what plastics are non biodegradable simply plastics are what non biodegradable they do not decompose easily okay so this will cause a great problem in the disposal of plastic wastes 
right so plastic waste cannot be decomposed easily and hence it cannot be disposed of easily also okay next point is what the burning of plastic waste gives out harmful gases which will pollute the air and it will cause air pollution okay so it is not advisable to dispose of the used plastic articles by burning right so the disposal of plastic wastes is a major problem okay next what are the various ways or to save the environment from excessive plastic wastes see some of the steps are given to you by which you can save the environment from excessive plastic wastes first one we should try to reduce the use of plastic okay we should try to reduce the use of plastic that means uh, we can use any other materials in place of plastics the basically we can use uh, the bags if we are using plastic bags okay or if we or if we are using plastic yes if we are using plastic bags then we should use bags made of cotton cloth or we can use the bags made of jute for shopping instead of polythene bags or plastic bags okay right paper bags can also be used paper bags is also papers are what biodegradable materials right so paper bags can also be used okay so next uh, so we should try to reduce the use of plastic by uh, using other materials in place in case of plastic the materials which are biodegradable okay we should not throw plastic wastes in water bodies on roads or in public places right the used plastic materials should be put in the dustbins right which are provided at various public places so this will keep our surroundings clean and it will also prevent the blockage of dirty water drains and sewers right point number 3 point number 3 is that plastic waste should be recycled okay all the plastic wastes in the homes shops and industry should be collected and sent for recycling to make to plastic making factories okay so these are some of the steps by which you can or by which we can save the environment from excessive plastic wastes right next what are thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics give examples see the definition of thermo thermoplastics is a plastic which can be softened repeatedly by heating and can be molded into different shapes again and again is called thermoplastics okay thermoplastics are what they are flexible they are flexible and they can be bent easily without breaking okay so examples are what polythene and polyvinyl chloride pvc for thermoplastics the examples are polythene and polyvinyl chloride that is pvc okay but on the other end thermosetting plastics are what a plastic which once set does not become soft on heating and it cannot be molded a second time that is called as what thermosetting plastics once once set in a given shape and it is solidified a thermosetting plastic cannot be resoft or remolded okay and the examples of thermosetting plastics are what bakelite and melamine okay bakelite and melamine next question what is meant by biodegradable and non biodegradable materials give examples so the definition of biodegradable materials are what a material which gets decomposed through natural processes such as the action of bacteria is called biodegradable materials okay examples are what peels of vegetables and fruits then paper etc etc lots of examples are there paper cotton cloth woolen cloth jute wood these are all what biodegradable materials okay animal waste leftover food all are what biodegradable materials but on the other hand non biodegradable materials are what a material which is not easily decomposed by natural processes such as the action of bacteria it is called non biodegradable materials examples are what plastics okay plastics glass tin aluminum cans and other metal objects okay these are all all what non biodegradable materials clear okay so yes still here only uh, 15 questions i have given you okay for the short answer type uh, short and long answer type questions i have given you 15 question and answers okay so you can note it down you can pause the video you can note it down in your science copy so i will wrap it up i will wrap the class today um from next video i will be providing you the new lesson okay so i will be starting new lesson
from the next video so that's all for today thank you and have a nice day